So, witches, welcome to the tower. We're going to do a quick, quick, all signs, weekend, messages, real quick. I'm just going to do one five card spread for each sign. Remember, y'all, buttons, bells, all that good jazz helps everybody out. That is really your number one way. Like, you know, people always get on that. They're like, oh, I don't have the money to support my friends the way I want to. You know what? Buttons and bells, y'all. Buttons and bells. Click, like, share. Throw a gif on their, you know, social media. It's not hard. Comment. You know, just reach out and just boop. Let someone know you care. It's my weekend message personally from me to you. I just booped you. All right, so I am going to do my apps. You know what? I got a plan, I got a plan, I got a plan. Oh, I should probably do one of these for each of y'all too, right? These two. I know, I'm so good at just wing all this stuff. I'm just total lunatic. Take the magic cards. I'm going to shuffle these. I'm going to get 12, and that way it's going to make sure that I do not miss any signs this time. It'll add a magic card to you guys' weekend messages. I know, shuffling is so much fun. But here's the thing. I just genuinely feel like, I don't know. As much as the shuffling is, like, annoying and you feel like nobody really wants to see you just sitting there shuffle at the same time, we all do it every now and then where you don't get the shuffling on camera. And then it's like, ah, you just feel like people feel like you made it up, right? Like you had time to like lay it. And you know what's weird is even if you did, what's wrong with that? All right. That's perfect. This is just so you guys know if you wanted to know. All right. So shuffle the shadow cards. Our shadow cards in order for all my signs today. I was just thinking. I think that Labyrinth deck should be coming at some point. Just graceful with it this morning. How you been? You been doing alright? You been doing good? That's nice. You can take care of yourself? I hope so. And find things that nurture your soul. Learning what you actually like in life. It's harder than you think. Proud of anybody who actually takes the time to figure out who they genuinely are. Alrighty. <clears throat> Here we go. Aries. Fated to suffer. Love and compassion for your magic card, the star. All right, let's get what your deck has to say about that. Aries. Aries this weekend I see a lot of stuff coming out into the light right you definitely got a king of pentacles that's a little controlling in your energy here but I do feel like 
everybody's taking time to cast fair judgments, right? Not just cast fair judgments, but make it a point to cast more positive judgments than negative judgments, right? Got to give praise to get praise in return. I, I get a sense of definitely some fun, right? Here, you got these two energies here at the end coming together of the Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, the Princess of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups. So definitely a loving masculine energy. And uh, yeah, I always get the Princess of Pentacles for me is always this energy of just being able to attract abundance from the universe. Not necessarily money, but definitely abundance from the universe, right? See all the flowers coming in, just blowing in on the wind. All right. We got the Fated to Suffer here. And the love and compassion. And I think a lot of it is, is especially with this judgment card and a lot of the practice that you need to be taking of focusing on casting positive judgments. And I think a lot of it with this card is, is the queen, even though it was positive judgment, she was giving Snow White, she allowed it to eat herself up. And you can't do that. You've got to be able to give yourself the same amount of love and compassion that you do for others. I mean, do you look at your friends your own age and things like that and, and think the same thing? Think about it, right? The star here, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. So definitely pay attention to serendipitous events this weekend. Alrighty. Taurus. Alright, Taurus, we got winter solstice reflection which is heavy because there's a lot that's going to be going on in the next six months. Everything that we have done the last week or so and with these energies and what we have chosen will be affecting the next six months coming into some sort of fruition during winter. And I do got the addicted card here, right? We got fairy magic as your magic card. All right, here we go. Taurus. I am not losing my mind. What is happening here? Put the deck in wrong. Taurus. Thought I saw an upside down card. Weekend messages. Alright Taurus, definitely got a lot of fire energy and a lot of passion that you're trying to direct in a certain area, but I just feel like you don't know how to juggle what it is you want right now. And you're really not sure really where your virtues are centered, which is a weird kind of thing. I do see that there is definitely a decision that needs to be made and a peace or a truce that needs to be had. There's an energy that you're unable to move on from that is causing a bit of uh, stagnation in your rebirth. Right, I feel a lot of this has to do with addictions and things of that nature. Um, and this isn't so much as casting out this judgment on others' addictions around you and how they affect you, but what your true addictions are, right? A lot of things can be addictions. It doesn't have to just be substances. It could just be toxic habits of any kind, right? It's time to do a lot of self-reflection over the next six months that's coming in for you. Now, this is supposed to be a weekend forecast, but apparently something this weekend is going to have you reflecting the next six months upon yourself more. I got the fairy magic here, respectfully working with the fairies and the elementals to achieve your goals. Calling in inner strength from the fae and the elementals. To help you stay on point for your goals. I love the spiral there. All right. Gemini. Yeah, I won't cry for you. you got strength. And you got the triple spiral here. All right.
같습니다. And keeping you a little bit on the oppressed side of the universe, right? Or feeling oppressed by the universe. Alright, I got a lot of this is because you're not actually releasing it. What you're trying to act so tough. I'm not going to cry for you. Well, honey bunny, the fact that you're 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 like bottling it up and burying it in the corner. Still there in the corner though you can't just leave it in the corner you you got to let it out you got to let her I don't care if you watch like a movie that's like semi based on it is that better that's semi based on it I like that color yeah, that was off that's better no I'm sorry you guys must hate it when people do this I know I'm not a huge fan that's fine all right so You've got to find a way to channel out that energy. You've got to let out the tears. You've got to let out, you know, yeah. In trying to not have emotion, it's actually causing you to lose control, right? You get the strength here. So, this actually reminds me, someone called me, someone told me once that they had a dream where they, we were um, on a mountain having a party in a cabin and there was a lake with a monster swimming under the lake and every now and then it would like thump against the edges of the lake and cause little tremors in the cabin right that's really a sense that i'm getting from this reading right and it's just with this card what i usually get is Thich Nhat han's chant of i am as strong and stable as a mountain my emotions are as clear as the waters of its lakes. And now you can stand there and be as strong as a mountain. And your waters can be as clear as its lake. But if there's this big thing stirring underneath it, bumping into the sides, causing tremors, well, you can't see anything through turbulent water, right? Through the ripply water. It has to be still in order to see through it or even to see a true reflection. Without a true reflection, everything is distorted, right? Okay, you get the triple spiral here and it's listening to the divine wisdom and joyful learning of life's lessons, right? That's actually very close to a healing symbol is tied into this, right? You gotta release, genuinely release old timelines to move forward. All right, that was Gemini Cancer. Cancer. We got Gilded Regret. We got Shape Shifting. I feel like you guys are going to be learning a little bit about yourselves. Cancer. Zutolo, what is this? How am I going to Sweet music, killing crap. Ooh. So, all right, you got the water card, and it's working with the water element, and I just had that song from Little Mermaid pop into my head. And um, it's where the chef catches Sebastian in the kitchen. 
Zoop to low. What is this? How on earth could I miss such a sweet little succulent crab? Right? But the next message I got out of that wasn't the whole song. And it's like, and it's going to get a hot in my big silver pot. Let's see what we got going on. Alrighty. Definitely got a wanting of hope and renewal here, right? A wanting to restore something, but you're not fully recovered from it yet. You're gaining some control on it, but there's not really a lot of fair judgments being cast here. There's a lot of negative judgments being bounced around here, and it's Ace of Cups reversed. So for me, what that is, I feel like you're going to be dealing with an energy of either one person or group of people that are going to be very upset and casting negative judgments on you and it's going to be out of a place of hurt right it's a love energy but it's a hurt love energy which may come off as angry um i, I do feel like something's going to be happening you're going to be feeling like you're in some hot water maybe this weekend right at least with one person with whoever is in charge of your cage right this gilded regret Someone who's in charge of your money or your finances or has some sort of say or sway over you is going to be a thing that you're going to be dealing with this weekend. All right. The universe on the, this side, the guy is telling you that this is a time of learning who you are. You're going to be going through some shape shifting or getting some seeds of intentions on areas that you want to shift and change within yourself, right? You got work with the... Uh, Work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Right? Look up the Jet Li quotes on um, water. Be like water. Right? Yeah. Be like water. L look up that Jet Li little speech. It's not very long. Leo. Leo, we got Bride in a Cage. You got release and you got Alwyn, the three rays of light. You get the reverse ten of pentacles here. You got a tower. You got a reverse king of pentacles here. You got the universe calling to you here. And you got the three of wands, which is passionate and virtue in this deck. I feel like you're going to have to defend your own virtue and your own self-worth a little bit this weekend. I do get the sense of a very toxic, nasty, masculine energy that is very controlling. Someone who is definitely in control of all of this. this is very similar to the reading before you, right? There's definitely going to be some tower moments or at least cracks in the foundation that happened this weekend. Tower moments don't necessarily mean everything is over. It just definitely means that there's cracks in the foundation and the foundation needs to be checked. This definitely needs to be checked. Um, King of Pentacles reversed is a super controlling energy. It is mean OCD controlling energy, okay? You know, and in that sense, you really need to be able to ground yourself and your own self-worth because people like that can make you feel very poorly about yourself because they're always telling you what you're doing wrong all right i got bride in the cage here feeling kind of stuck definitely with that uh, with that spread feeling stuck in this relationship a uh, wanting to release but i got here the almond three rays of light balancing the male and female energies peace and harmony i feel like a lot of what's going on is a needing to release um dead and old toxic thought patterns and things that keep coming up and causing tumultuous times in your relationships here because that's what's causing the other people to become toxic and controlling and everybody just needs to get back into a balancing of the masculine and the feminine need to be balanced back out it needs to be even it needs to be a little bit more fair all right 
for whoever is feeling like they're feeling oppressed, that conversation needs to be had. Uh, Virgo. Ay, 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 ay. Virgo, sorry, but there's noise in the background, so I need to put something else on to filter it. All right, Virgo. We got sacrifice. And we got breaching the water here, right? The whale breaching the surface, right? And you got earth. Here's your magic card. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Virgo, you got the High Priestess reversed here. I'm getting a sense of even having a little bit of fear of what it is you even want to ask the universe for. I feel like you are worried about um, your heart becoming heavy from the decisions that you're making. Though you are extremely passionate, right? You want to put your own stars in the sky. You don't want to reach for somebody else's. Um, I feel like... I feel like something... I get the sense of you need to let down your defenses and speak your mind, right? Let down your defenses and speak your mind this weekend, but at the same time, just be mindful of your words, right? It's okay to cut through the BS. Just be mindful that you're not being a little too harsh, right? Which I don't think you will be because you are really trying to balance this out. But definitely, you have to, if you want to put your own stars in the sky, you've got to turn this right, by, right side up, right? And whatever decision you make, is going to come with the sacrifice. If you want something new and good to come into your life, you have to sacrifice something that no longer serves you and is toxic to you, right? For every new habit you build, you have to release an old habit in order for it to stick to just how it works, right? That's just how it works. I feel like you're definitely breaching the surface on this and you're learning how to breach the surface of your emotions here in order to speak your mind a little bit more clearly and get your point across to others. Right? It's definitely calling you for you to work with the power of earth. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, strength in times of chaos. I also get... There's to tell you, um, Archangel Raphael is earth. And he's all about healing as well. Definitely get a sense that there is a lot of healing that needs to take place as well this weekend. I mean, it doesn't have to be super duty heavy, intense energies, right, guys? This is just... These are the seeds that are going to be coming up this weekend. All right, Virgo, Libra, Libra, Libra. We got the masquerade. We got the lotus flower. Oh, I love that. Right, right, right. And you got the philosopher's stone. Let's see what you got with that. Libra. Libra, this is beautiful. I love this. I love this. I love this. I see that you are coming out of a state of anxiety, that you understand that there are certain just energies and things that you need to move on from. You get the Queen of Swords, this higher perspective, right? This is a clear no bullshit tongue, right? She doesn't um, sling her tongue and hurts people's feelings. She slings her tongue and tells the truth and what she is sets clear and healthy boundaries and what the hell she expects. Um, and the respect that she expects within her kingdom, right? She don't take that shit, right? You got the emperor energy here. What? This is my... I get, definitely get a sense of, you know what? This is my kingdom. I manifested this. I made this, and I'm going to do what I want with it. And what do I want to do with it? I feel like you do want to have like a bit of a masquerade. And I do feel like this masquerade is kind of an act on your part. You know, that you're faking being happier than you are. And it's just because you've had to defend yourself for wanting to enjoy what you created, right? Does that make sense? You want to enjoy what you manifested, what you created. Libras, 
you guys are the better homes and garden people of the zodiac you guys are the trinket queens um and yeah you like nice you like pretty and you manifest these pretty things for yourself you're very bling blingy and all that so you're allowed to enjoy everything that you've achieved for yourself right and don't let anybody make you feel bad about that or try to make it so that you can't enjoy that right but i feel like you're already reaching for this because this is definitely an unfoldment and kind of like the breach card here this is unfolding on top of the water of your emotions so this is yeah i'm wearing a mask a little bit but i am acting outside of my emotions instead of within them and look at how i am blooming right we got the philosopher's stone here powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy one thing you guys usually got in bounds it's energy and it's time to start focusing that onto what you truly want that was libra scorpio <laughs> Scorpio, 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 fragmentation, a little bit scattered, vulnerability, right? And you got the dragonfly. So here we go. Scorpio. I guess I have to say it. Here we go. Oh, can't make the song coming through. But what's really coming through with that song is um, that line where they scream, I don't want to be alone. And I just feel like a lot of decisions you've been making have been because you do not want, you do not like to be alone. Which is fine. Most people don't. Most people, that is, that is perfectly 100% normal. Most people don't want to be alone and they do make the decisions in that case but for you with the fragmentation card i feel like it kind of splits you in multiple areas here we go though for your actual reading right you are in the frequency of gain the nine of pentacles here right and the frequency of gain is being grateful for whatever you have what i'm sitting on a cracked wall with a bunch of wild flowers right it's almost like also the idea of you don't need a lot to show your love and affection right people appreciate hand-picked wildflowers too it's just the thought i think you understand that that's how you get more coming in for you is the more you give the more you get in return especially energy rise i feel like that is really what you're balancing here between the physical and the spiritual here with the two of pentacles learning how to juggle those energies between the two i do see that you are going to be taking some leaps this weekend and um the message is you can either leap on your own or you can be tossed from the fucking tower um yeah you got the king of pentacles upright at the end of your decade you can seize into this masculine energy yourself and take control of the reality around you which is i feel what you genuinely would like to do or you can allow this energy to come from someone else and take over but i feel like yeah scared to be alone don't 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 run to somebody else okay okay whatever is going on with all this you got to heal from it first before you run to somebody else definitely be careful in the energies that are going on right now right i feel like you're fragmented you definitely need to focus up your energies right focus them into where you want to go you get the vote meadow of vulnerability and definitely for your for you scorpio is going to be an energy of what admitting what you can and can't do admit what you can and cannot do right and i feel like that might cause some turmoil but you have to you have to i say it all the time in my life right what happens is there's just going to always be certain people in your life especially like your own children or whatever right the more you do the more you're just expected to do right the more you do the more you're just expected to do and now that you're just expected to do that 
now they expect you to do more than just that because that's not a big deal anymore. That's not showing me how special it is. So the universe has probably put you in a position where you got to be vulnerable and be like, you know what, all you guys' problems are not my problems. And own up to what you cannot fix, right? Just that's not me. I'm not here to fix your problems. I am a dragon fry. I bring light to this world. And you do. You do. Your strong energy is what brings light to this world. And I always say with the dragonfly cards that it's always based on, right? Caterpillars can't speak butterfly language. Butterflies can't speak dragonfly language. And you just need to be able to accept that within yourself at all. And accept butterflies for who they are. Uh, you don't have to eat them all. You can just stick to mosquitoes. Um, but yeah, just own who you are genuinely inside and admit to what you cannot and you can do. All right. Sagittarius. Woo. Wow. All right, Sagittarius. You got, is this me? And I think that when you find that answer, it's going to be a tsunami wake up call for those around you and you are on target for following your ideal life path so I mean I don't even think you need a spread at this point but let's go ahead anyway is this you have you been dropped to your knees or are you getting up off them? All right, now whenever an energy shows up in a spread reverse, that means you have the capability of turning it up right, right? It's your choice on whether you want to surrender to the timeline or whether you want to turn the cards around. But the energy is there for you to seize, all right? You've got the inability to complete a cycle that you know needs to be completed, right? And this is the only deck with the Four of Wands that is like this, right? The wheel. Right? And it says completion of a cycle. Not the building or the foundations of something. No, this is the completing of a cycle here. Definitely with another person. See how they're on other sides of a wall right now? Right? Emperor energy. Your Aries buddies will be happy to send you some emperor energy. Right? What are you in control of? Right? Truly. I mean yourself. Your reactions is the number one thing that you really are only in control of in this life. And I think you really need to seize on that. There is definitely a death and rebirth that is being blocked. I feel like that you want to put your own stars in the sky and not follow other people. But it also feels oppressed right now, that energy. A rebirth in something, a change up. You want to change it up. And it's something definitely that you want to do with your own power and your own hands. I feel like wanting to make stuff with your own hands and doing it your own way. That makes you feel passionate about doing it. And there needs to be a death and rebirth and a thought process here. Sending you tons of fire, baby. Do, do with it what you will to gain back control of what you are. Complete this cycle for sure, right? Get up off your knees and pick up your sword. Sag, you got your own energy reversed. It's time for a wake-up call. time for a wake-up call for some people here you are on target whatever your intuition is telling you you are on target for your ideal life path hey uh -uh. I'm gonna talk about leaving I love you see you later Alrighty, Capricorn, 
I got the temple of my body. You got dance and celebration. You got the triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Definitely feel that all tied into these energies. Let's get to Capricorn. Alright Capricorn, I see that you're trying to plant some seeds, but they're really not taking um, any root at the moment. I don't know if it's because you don't want them to, you're not watering them. I feel like you're still working on the skills you need to water them, right? Still trying to perfect it a little bit. I definitely do see a love connection here, but I do feel like this love connection there's some sort of turmoil in it right it's like it feels like a loss of passion and it's not being nurtured right of course these are this way but they're reversed but whatever. Right. camera flip shit but it's not being nurtured you got the feminine pentacle queen here reversed earth burst and you know this is the uh, 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 uh card and it's reversed so i feel like that might be having your confidence a little shook right now Right, if, if you don't feel like there's passion in this connection and you're trying to, I, I, with the temple of my body, I feel like it's a lot of self-judgment on your own body right now, right? And the temple of my body, but here's the trick with diet and exercise, right? This is the big secret, and I know, I fall on and off the bandwagon all the time. The big secret is, if you're going to fast, it will not work with weight loss and it will not be sustainable if the reason you're fasting is to punish yourself. Um, you will continue to keep plateauing in your exercises if exercising isn't something that you're doing to take care of yourself because it is a vessel for the divine energies. You're doing it to punish yourself because you don't like the way it looks. And you're punishing yourself for gaining weight and you're punishing yourself. Nothing will be sustainable in that energy. It's not the energy that's going to get you something sustainable. You need to look at it as, I am doing this because I am a divine vessel for divine energies and I need to take care of myself and be healthy so that I can maintain these flows, right? Dance and celebration. I feel like whatever you're doing, if you really want to tone up and get yourself looking and feeling right, find a fun exercise to do, right? A fun exercise to do. You know? do you, I don't know, kickboxing, dance, dance more, you don't even need to do much more, you could still just, you know, do your regular day, just dance, whenever you can get away with, like, moving around and dancing, dance, dance, right, triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine, and the earthly, and bringing it together, right, the divine part of you isn't just your soul, your, your vessel is also divine, was divinely created to carry that energy all right take care of it like you're supposed to aquarius 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 what do we got what do we got we got obsession we got effortless we got prosperity a prosperous business with riches and success princess of swords here definitely same message i give with everybody with this card don't be afraid to cut out the bullshit just be mindful of what you say and think about well the other people might react to what you say before you just pop off at the mouth a little too much right there's a lot of strength coming 
and flowing through you this weekend it's going to be a lot of strength to maintain this nurturing queen of cups flowing energy right you're gonna need a lot of strength to get some control over that tongue right this king is not sitting on the throne this trucker is following them three crows right cutting through the bills it making some getting gaining some strength nurturing right and making some damn moves right thoughts and words put into actions here right i do see I do see a reverse princess of wands here someone who is desperately trying to put their own stars in the sky i feel like it might even be someone around you that's just trying to get a lot of attention from you someone who wants to feel like an individual and may feel a little bit forgotten if that makes sense to what's going on i feel like a lot of the shadow aspects here with this obsession is something you're obsessed with might be um eluding you to the fact that this person needs you because that's what i'm showing here with this king of swords following the crows because down here it's laid out like this right? like he's actually facing her running towards this right I got this obsession with the three here. You got the three crows. I feel like this obsession might be blocking you from being able to see what's going on. And it also might be having you, uh, whatever you're obsessing on, I feel like either a set timeline or whatever it is that's super distracting and you can't figure it out and you're trying to force it to work and that's not how it works. It's supposed to be effortless. Sometimes in the effort to avoid our fate, we create it. destiny is set but the path to get there is your own the path isn't difficult it's only resisting the path that makes it hard and complicated i got prosperity a prosperous business with riches and success don't forget about what you've built and don't forget about what you're working towards right But maybe that's the obsession too that could be the obsession what obsessed with maintaining this prosperity or obsessed with gaining this prosperity but i just say be, be really mindful there's definitely a hurt princess of fire around you last but not least the pisces 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 oof oof gluttonous envious hate this guy this guy is never satisfied ever ever will never be satisfied movement right and you got the festival here the festival creates energetic blueprints for fantastic parties or events and just as the libras are tchotchke queens pisces at least the femmes are fantastic for throwing parties they're the checklist people. They don't call you and tell you what you're bringing to the party. Last one. All right, Pisces, it definitely All right, so you definitely got this guy on your timeline this weekend. Reverse King of Wands. Reverse King of Wands definitely is never satisfied. There is very scary toxic energy when it comes to toxic uh, fire signs, for sure. All right, I'm not sure if that's what you're dealing with, but it's definitely a toxic king of wands reversed is passionately aggressive does that make sense right like they, they speak very harshly they say things that very cut very corely things that are unnecessary to be said sometimes things that aren't even true it's just hyper um 
paranoia, not paranoia, but exaggeration. They're going for something that they know that hurts your feelings and they really, really go on it, right? I feel like you're really going to need the first card we got. You are going to need to be in control of your thoughts and words, right? Do you see this energy coming at you? Not sure if that's going to be within your whole group or from the outside here. I do see that you are going to have to act with a swiftness to quick transmute this energy back at them, right? I always get the, uh, with this card, right? And so all these wands are flying at her and she's shooting a rainbow back. And it's just like that kind of energy. It's like, I'm not going to sit here and do that to you because I feel like that's what you want me to do, do for you. But instead, I'm just going to cast out love in the sense that I'm sorry someone made you this way. Not that I'm sorry someone made you this way, but yeah, no, I'm sorry you're so miserable that you're trying to make me miserable. That makes sense, right? I'm sorry you're so unhappy that you gotta, you don't like yourself so much that for some reason you feel the need to make me feel bad about myself. Right? Now, whoever you're dealing with this, this is not going to gain you any victories, at least not this weekend, right? Because you got the Six of Wands reversed and you got the Three of Cups reversed. So you got that festival card, but I don't see it really happening this weekend for you because it's just, yeah, the Six of Wands reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. So you're, it's not going to come this weekend. I definitely feel like you need to address this energy and set some very healthy boundaries with it. Right, set some very healthy boundaries with it. Um, uh, one of the other signs I said that right. Respect. You need some respect boundaries. Respect. Right. Uh uh. Uh uh. What? I'm sorry somebody messed you up. But no, no. If you're going to keep being like this, I'm gonna have to move on. Right. Now, with the casting and everything that I did last night, that's what I said. I was I wanted the quote that I put with it was, Blessed be all those who walk these weird and windy paths with me. Stay with me if you will. Go if you must. And if you must go, please go in peace. But it's a matter of, do you want to upshift? And if you are dead set and focused on upshifting your life and working on transmuting energy, you're going to have to be able to go with the movement. And if people want to anchor out and sit on shore, then they can anchor out and sit on shore. Shit. <laughs> sit on the shore you know what let them leave this shite on the shore right you keep moving on around the bend because you are moving towards creating an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party and event you keep moving towards what it is your soul calls for right keep your focus don't let this person derail it for you i think it was libra had a similar message to that cards everywhere alrighty yeah I think we're good I think we're gonna go ahead and close that out let's go ahead and just do a last little close out here let me sage it off a little bit actually this is juniper alright Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed that. Buttons, bells, all that good jazz. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. I love y'all.